Okay, people, we are in a car and it's dark. You don't believe us? Lights off, babe. Turn the lights off, boom. It is pitch black. My God, that's terrible. <laughs> Whoa. But uh, you might be wondering, what the F are we doing at 12.46 a.m.? What we're doing today is Claire came up with the greatest today? idea tonight, or this morning. I don't know, okay? But Claire decided to come up with the greatest idea, idea ever. It's late. <laughs> it's late, yes, I know. But uh, what we're doing is we're going to start a series where our goal is to find the best Donuts ever. Okay, and we're going to make this a 700 part series hopefully <laughs> so we get to eat 700 donuts But how this is gonna be like let's say we go to um, Freaking China one time and they have donuts We're gonna taste test the China donut and see how it compares to the other 538 We've already eaten and uh, it's gonna be dope, but this one Claire did some research What did you find out about this place we're going to so this place is in Fort Worth, Texas? Texas baby. If you don't know is near Dallas Whoop. Kinda. But this place is called Hertz Donuts. They have 20 locations around the U.S., including Colorado, Arizona. That's all I remember. You really did your research. I know. Yes. But the cool thing about this place is that it's open 24 hours. So Andrew and I were talking about when we were going to film this video, yeah. and we decided to go right now at... Yeah. 12.47 a.m. Yeah, Claire would text me. She goes, we can record this tomorrow morning or tonight. And I'm like, what do you mean tonight? She goes, they're open 24 hours. I'm like, oh my God, we're going tonight. So the way this is going to work is Andrew will probably be reviewing most of the donuts because I probably can't eat most of the donuts. But, so I feel included and important because that's important. True. I am going to be taste testing the coffee at every donut Which is shop. just as important as the donut. Honestly, potentially equally important. Like it's hard to find good coffee. It's not really that hard to find a good donut, but I'm assuming if these donuts are good, their coffee will correlate in the same sort of rating. So we got a little drive ahead of us and we're gonna go do it. Hopefully we don't get pulled over, robbed, stabbed, or eaten on our departure. And if none of those happen, we should see you right about all right, you guys, sorry for this horrible lighting, but you know, you it can is- put like a filter on it. It is almost 1 a.m. But I just want to let you guys know, and Andrew's driving, which is just weird and Woo! literally so crazy because he never drives, but I'm kind of tired. And he usually stays up till about like 5 a.m. We out here so. grinding, baby. Boom, look at them biceps. You think I get these biceps staying at, st not stay up till, keep going. But I just wanted to say that I am potentially sacrificing my good night's rest to have this coffee for you guys. But now that I actually just said that out loud, it's like, it's not like you're forcing me to have this coffee. I, it's, it was my idea. But I'm just letting you guys know the sacrifices that I'm making for you, okay? All right, you guys, it is 1.20 a.m. and we are finally arriving. And it's still blurry because it's so dark that there's nothing to focus on. <laughs> I see it! I don't. It's, do you see Hertz Donut Co? Oh, yeah, <gasps> I do. Oh, I'm like, is it close? Oh, no, it's not. The shop next to it is dark, so it kind of looks close. Oh, my God, that would have <laughs> been. I would have. Mm. Could you imagine if we would have driven all this way? There's actually a lot of people out tonight, you guys. I didn't realize. Oh, this is a. We should move here. There it is. This looks dope. <laughs> Sorry about my wood dirty car. There's people in there. And this guy just saw me filming. That's so awkward. Oh, yeah. swings on swings.
Okay, so we were gonna record all of it in there, but yeah. they had music playing and we didn't want to get copyright struck in. But um, I haven't had a donut in a while. Yeah. Besides like the cheap stuff. I don't think I've ever had an expensive donut. I usually just get Krispy Kremes or the stuff from like Walmart, you know? Yeah, like um, the day olds from Kroger yeah. or something. Or the small powder donuts, you know? But um, yeah, so I got the little Timmy. <laughs> I had to get the little Timmy because I call, like if someone kills me in like Call of Duty, I call him, oh, little Timmy's sweating. You've said that on no. this channel multiple times. Like, little, oh, little Timmy's gonna be upset. So I got the little Timmy, which is this little guy right here. Boom, you guys already saw it probably. But right there. Yeah, I got the little Timmy and it is just a normal sprinkle with white icing and they're like dense donuts. Okay, so like this is what I would explain it like. Like if you look at it, it's like a, it's more of like a I think a lot of these donuts are cakey donuts. I don't know the hmm. difference. I think there's like old fashioned, a cake, and uh like I feel like the Krispy Kreme run ones are different. Yeah, Krispy Kreme are like yay thick. Yeah. These are like thick. Like that. So yeah, the little Timmy was pretty good, and we're gonna give this on a scale of out of 10. Okay. And that you can get it 0 0.2, 0 0.1, whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna give these a 7.6. That's pretty good. Not great though. Okay, so donut number one, the little Timmy, I'm giving a 7.6. Okay. It's very good, but I know there's gonna be better than that. Like, I just know it. Like, it wasn't like where I'm like, oh, this is the best donut I've ever had. Very good though. So yeah, up next is the Bart Simpson. I know I'm holding this kind of weird, but um, this is called the Bart Simpson. It's a chocolate donut with white icing, and then I think, did he eat Butterfingers? Yeah, Bart Butterfingers. Was it Butterfingers? I don't know. I think, I mean, that's what it looks like. Or was like. it Reese's Cups? Oh. Can you not, can you not taste it? No, that's a Butterfinger. That's Butterfinger. It's Butterfinger. Butter so yeah, it's chocolate with peanut butter, or with, uh, Butterfinger on it, and... That's an old-fashioned donut, I think, with the way it is. A little Bart. A little... While Andrew finished that bite, I will let you guys know about the coffee. The coffee was legitimately, honestly, probably the worst coffee I've ever had. But I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt because the lady told me she doesn't know how long that coffee has been in there. And she knew it was going to be so bad that she gave it to us for free. So she was right. It was literally terrible. It was pretty much the temperature of lukewarm water. And it honestly tasted like water. I finished the, like, big thing of coffee. Like, I I, I put it in my cup till it was empty. So not good. Not good on the coffee. We're out of all right, so yeah, I'm gonna give the Bart Simpson probably a seven because it's good, but I'm not Butterfingers. I never really eat, and I don't really like chocolate. Like, uh, wait, so why'd cake. you get that one? Because it sounded cool and it was a Bart Simpson, and I went like, like I went vanilla icing, so I had to go like chocolate. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, the Bart Simpson is getting a seven. Wasn't bad, but I'm just not a big fan of chocolate. But overall, I'd say the experience is pretty cool. One of the nicest donut places yeah. I've ever seen. Usually they're kind of like, you know, kind of you know, a little no, it's sketchy. Real cool. But that was very nice. And honestly, I think it should get bonus points because it's open 24 hours. <laughs> that is a bonus point. Like if I lived around here and I'm yeah, hungry, cool. boom, getting a donut. Or one of those, wait, I forgot about the sausage thing. Oh, yeah. Like I, I've had one of these before, but it was frozen and I microwaved it. It was pretty good. I got a jalapeno cheddar kolache or whatever they're called. And that's easy 10 out of 10. <laughs> One of the best things I've ever had. None of it was crunchy. It was all soft and delicious, and I'm giving that a 10 out of 10. So if you guys come here to what is this place called? Hertz, Hertz Donut. Donuts. Make sure you guys get one of those jalapeno cheddar kolaches or whatever they're called because they're freaking good. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, that is going to be it for today's, tonight's, is it today? Tomorrow's. Tomorrow's video. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and if you guys are interested and want to see this donut series that I had the idea to do I don't know why you wouldn't want to see it, but let us know in the comment section below and we will see you guys in the next one But The next one will probably be better because it is late. We yeah. never did it before and there's music So I'm gonna go finish these donuts drive home and go to bed. Okay, bye Andrew, don't dirty my glasses. I was doing this. Like the, we go like. <laughs> Is that Dr. Disrespect staring at us through that window?